uh, yule ambaye ni president kwa sai kwa hiyo tunasema tu kwamba uh, kama kuna kitu ambacho wanaweza kutufanyia tu kwamba tukae na amani itatusaidia sana na uh, kwa na wenzangu wa Kikristo najua Biblia inasema uh, uh, Mungu ndo anapanga uongozi kwa hiyo ni muhimu kuheshimu uongozi uh, uh, so tunaomba tu tunaomba tu Mungu kwamba waweze ku fanya kitu uh, uh, kiwao ili bwana tupatie amani bwana kwa sababu sisi wote tunavurutana hapa na pale kwa sababu ya wao wawili tu kwa hiyo uh, kama wanaweza kufanya kitu tu kuzungumza unajua mazungumzo unazungumza hakuna ile kukosa na watu hawezi kusameheana unajua kwa hiyo eh, kama kuna kitu ambacho wanaweza kufanya tu kiu mazungumzo ili tupate kwamba maisha yanaenda itakuwa mzuri kwa sababu tukisema ima andamano ikuwe kila siku basi nadhani itakuwa ngumu sana nchi kuendelea pengine eh, guardian yeah. uh, si maandamano tu tuko na issue tuko na issue ya LGBTQ kama unaelewa vizuri basi asanteni kwa maswali asante <laughs> 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 mimi ni kwa nini kudaka ya mwisho tu one ya leo tu ya mwisho mimi ni mwisho tu uh, tukiachana na siasa tu kwa haraka haraka yeah. nyinyi ni moja ya couple zenye mumeka sana kwa muda mrefu ama mkosani labda uh, na nangomba labda Esther tujibu hii what's the secret behind you guys being together you guys sticking to together what's the secret behind it i think for us we are more friends than we are lovers and partners so our 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 relationship is based on friendship okay yeah that's that's that, that that's the that's the the foundation of our relationship na juzi kulikuwa na na topic ina trend sana Eh, kuna mmoja ya msanii pale saki kukumtaja jina alisema watu wamchangishie ndugu yake aoe. Sasa sijui kama wewe kama Esther na ama Garden is it right for someone akitaka kufanya harusi achangishiwe aoe ama is kwa sababu sidhani kama ulichangishiwa wewe. Na, a, sasa mimi msiwezi kuchangishiwa kwa sababu niko kitu mzee niko mimi niko sawa. Lakini kwa yule yuko sawa. Harusi yani hata kama uko na 20 bob fanya hiyo harusi bro. Hata kama uko na 50 bob ifanye harusi nenda mahali Nunua soda eh? ama ununue queen cake uende kwa nyumba upike ka strong tea uite watu wawili watatu uite pasta kombe yani hakuna ati ile dondo inafaa kufanya harusi you understand na usingie kwa deni kwa sababu ya kufa cause kitu ya maana ni hiyo ndoa mtu wangu kitu ya maana si hiyo ceremony so tendo ujingishe kwa deni mtu wangu uh, unapiga deni alafu unaenda kwa nyumba unapata pia hakuna amani sasa masimu ni nyingi hata hiyo honeymoon yenyewe unaikulokea na wasiwasi i die hivyo si ndio kwa hiyo mimi naweza kusema tu ile kidogo uko nayo zile vitu kidogo unaweza ku afford kidogo tu si ndio bebe yangu eh yeah, alafu harusi inakuepo na inakuwa inakuwa nzuri tu but kitu maana ya kuzingatia ni after hiyo harusi so si lazima mtu achangishiwe harusi hapana uh, no si lazima bana tena sasa utachangishiwa harusi sasa alafu unajua si lazima kama uko na kidogo yako tumia hiyo kidogo yako tu kwa fanya tu within your means mimi si feel kama kuna maana sana ya kuchangishiwa unless kwa hiyo harusi kuna kitu tofauti unataka kufanya ile si hiyo tu harusi okay. yeah man mm. na labda uh, what's your next nini project uh, guardian man eh hey, projects ziko hapa zimechamuka eh hey, zimeiva sana uh, niko na of course projects nimefanya na DJ Kez uh, kuna collab ambayo nimefanya kutoka Tanzania uh, na Uh, uh, of course nitawatajia iki karibia but ni kutoka Tanzania actually nimefanya mbili kutoka Tanzania kuna moja nimefanya kutoka Uganda na moja nimefanya kutoka Congo zote ndakuwa na zirilize zikifatana kwa hiyo April May June eh, ni mwaka ita kwa imachamuka sana yeah man pengine msishano wa Congo Patrick hako mm. inchini yeah. unatamani sana kuna na nae ama kufanya kolabo nae uh, unajua kila mtu wakienda kwa nchi ingine anaenda akiwa na mpangilio fulani Uh, unapata labda yuko hapa nchini kwa sababu ya mpango pango zake kivi yake kwa hiyo uh, kama yeye ananijua na amekuja nchini kwa ajili ya kufanya kolabo anaweza kunitafuta tufanye lakini kama ako kwa mpango tofauti naweza kusema tu yeye afanye mpango wake lakini wakati mwingine ambapo tutapanga kama ni kitu kama kolabo basi mimi niko open niko na studio niko na unajua kila kitu kwa hiyo anaweza tunaweza reach out tu na tufanye song yeah please please uh, to Esther Msila 
maybe you guys have introduced to a relationship maybe to the public, people know you better. Maybe you can tell us, uh, do you regret maybe uh, putting your relationship in public? And uh, the second question, maybe uh, putting your relationship in public, uh, maybe the challenge you faced from fans, maybe from people that is making you regret putting the relationship in public? I think initially I was a bit not very happy because I, I the way the public took this relationship and and, and some of the um, of the um, lashbacks that we got but I think for me for us standing for what we know for who we are has also encouraged a lot of people who are in the same kind of relationships but are afraid to come out so I don't regret because I know my relationship has helped somebody somewhere. So what is this one challenge you faced maybe by doing that? But you see, we... I think we, most also, of it was just maybe but, people insulting you for the wrong things, you know, people who don't know you. Because even before my, my I was exposed to social media, I had my own social media pages. But they were private. But this was just the people who I interacted with. But you see, now I'm exposed to a bigger... Mm. bigger audience mm. who have different ideas also the reason why we can't regret i don't know but we can't regret because we didn't put our relationship out you guys put it out with an intention to bring us down yeah. but it happened the opposite happened you understand so it you guys put it out so we were unable to bring it back to ourselves initially it was our relationship but you guys decided to put it out when Gina and Malicious intentions and your that is asa mtu munishushe mimi mulishindwa hiyo hiyo ni ngumu hiyo ni ngumu no so ni vile tu tulijipata sasa tuko hapo nje ikabidi sasa to adapt vile tunaishi hapo nje mnatujua mko hapo mnataka kutuambia lakini sisi tunajua hivyo so for us or for you if you would want if you have a relationship uh, I would advise you not necessarily to put it out to the people. So what we are doing right now is we are just we adjusted to you guys putting us out there and we have to live with it. Yeah man. Otherwise kama munge waijua tungeishi tu kama tumetolea. Na unapata pia Mr kuna ile njia yenye mafans wengine wanakuja wanasema kuwa uh, mambo ya mtoto unajua ni tofauti watu wanachukulia tofauti. Maybe how do you respond to such kind of maybe there is one question that I always ask. <laughs> My child, how is it of benefit to you? Utamlea, utamchunga. I mean, it's none of your business. And this is what I tell people. People should learn to respect people's lives. You, you don't know me. You, come, you can't come and tell me what to do with my life. Why are you telling me to have a child for you? No. So people should just learn to respect well, you, know, you know, in the world that we are living in right now, and I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, with all due respect, I'm a, I'm a gospel minister and a musician. But I will just say, especially for men, manome usiulize manome mungine mambo ya mtoto yake. Kwa sababu hata wea kama uko na wako, mama yake ndo anajua kama ni wako. Najua. Kwa hiyo uneza kuwa pa nje manome, oh, huu jamaa pati watoto, kumbe wale uko na wani wangu. Okay, asante. Asante, asante. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hallelujah.